Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Top Down OBD Can Elite. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at it in the box here. And as you can see, it does read airbag and ABS codes, which is super, super important. It has a data stream, so you can actually use this as kind of, you know, I don't want to say use it as a speedometer, but it will function as one in case you don't have one and you need one, you know, right away, kind of a quick fix thing. Would not recommend this for a, a permanent fix though. Now on the features, looks like it has every feature you could possibly want for a code reader. reader. Um, but other than that, the box is pretty nice and high end. We can go ahead and open it. And with every Top Don product I've seen so far, it comes it usually comes in this really nice kind of hard molded case. It's I mean it's it's soft. It's kind of like a suitcase where it's sturdy but kind of soft all at the same time. It's nice either way. So we open it to find the manual here. Important. Um, a USB, a uh, micro USB? Yeah, micro. Or no, this is mini USB, not micro. That's mini USB. And then it also came with this. This is kind of cool. If you're not sure what this is, that's okay. So this is USB. Obviously, it plugs into your computer. And that looks like it's a card, a micro SD card adapter. So that's really cool. So here's the unit itself. It's very similar to the other unit I looked at earlier, but this is the Elite model, so it can do the um, airbag and ABS codes. It feels just as high-end and nice as the other one. It has a slot for updating, and it has an SD card here. Let's see, an 8 gig SD card. I'm sure that is, you can also update it with that as well. So if you want to do it that way, you can do it that way too. So the cool stuff about Top Don is that you can update this as cars come out. So new car comes out, no big deal. Your scanner can be updated to read it. Just super important. Oh, and this goes, this was supposed to come in the end like that. There you go, keep the, keep the plug nice and free of crud in your toolbox. Let's plug it in and uh, go over a couple of the screens. Okay, so if you want like a typical scan, just like a real quick thing, you select this OBD2 Diagnose, and it just goes into automatically scanning your system. And then you can read codes from here. Okay, as you can see, it's throwing two co codes here, basically meaning the same thing. At the crankshaft, the camshaft positioning sensor is not happy. So I'm gonna go fix that. It's not gonna be part of this video, but I'm gonna fix that and be right back. Okay, as it turned out, it was just a loose wire that I pushed back into the sensor, so it should be okay now. Now I can scroll down to erase the codes. And my codes have been cleared. Great. Now that works awesome for a normal uh, trouble code. If you have a ABS or an airbag trouble code, you're gonna have to do this and pick your make. Now, when you're deciding on a scanner, make sure that your make is supported um, by this top down scanner here. And if you don't see it immediately on the Amazon page or wherever you're looking at it, go to their website and check out and see if it can be updated to support your vehicle. Since this is an F-150 in the United States, I'm gonna click USA Ford, diagnose. There we go, checking the ABS module, and you can check your anti-lock brakes. You can read the fault data if there's any. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with it. So, everything's all good. Next, we can see this is ABS up here, and this restraint control module, that's gonna be to do with your airbag system. So we can go ahead and check that. And since this vehicle doesn't have an airbag light on, you can see that there's no problems. But if there was an airbag light on, this top down scanner would have found it, or at least given us an idea on what the problem is in the system. 
this tool is essential. Some of my concluding thoughts on this scanner is it's uh, pretty high quality, it's decently priced, it's readily available from Amazon. Who doesn't love that? I've left a link down below in the description. I will give this disclaimer, I was provided this from Top Don, but I was not paid for my opinion. These are my honest opinions here. And honestly, there's really not mo much more you want out of a home scanner. This is a tool that everybody needs. And if you're buying a scanner, you might as well put the extra money forth and get one that can do ABS and airbag lights because you can get a super cheapy scanner that'll read the ECM and PCM, but if you ever have an ABS or an airbag problem, you're gonna have to spend the money anyway to get uh, a scanner like this. And I think this scanner is priced perfectly well, you know? So there's really not a lot to dislike about this scanner. I'm totally digging the interface. It's really easy and straightforward to understand. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I, I'd say it's a definite go by. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. All applicable links are down below in the description and I'll catch you next time.